Thank you. Coming out to the Starting From Strat show. Back to the Woods series. Lonzo's Andy. The history. Uh, this is for historical and educational purposes only. Uh, Lonzo Zandi. I found to be a very interesting dog. A very interesting dog. Because Lonzo Zandi will be found in a lot of great dogs' pedigrees throughout. The history of the sporting dog world. Yeah. Lonzo Zandy. Yep. Dogs such as Lonzo Zandy, in my humble opinion, would impact the sporting dog world in a major way. Uh, you have dogs such as... Um, Chaves is champion Jocko, for instance. He has Lonzo Zandy in him. Through his bottom. Yep. Chaves is champion Jocko. Another one. Fat Bill's champion Blero. Yep. Lonzo Andy. Yep, Lonzo and anybody. <laughs> then we have Mims Ricochet. Then we have Huge's Champion Gator. Then we have Rossaman's Champion Lady Stone. Then we have Fitch's. Champion Diamond Jim. Then we have Greenwood's Champion Oki, two time winner. Then we have Doc's, five time winner. All great dogs, all great producers. And then, last but not least, Clemens Nigger Toby. Which I did a piece on him. Uh, Lonzo Zandi would go down in American people will tell you history. But I look deeper into Lonzo Zandi. Lonzo Zandi's sire was Snowball. Snowball was the son of Tudor's Dabo. Yeah, the great Tudor's Dabo. Lonzo Zandi was Snowball bred back to his daughter. That's what Lonzo Zandy come off of. Straight off of Tudor's Dabo's son, inbred. Lonzo's Andy. One of American people with Terrier's greatest. Yep, inbred Tudor's Dabo. Stay tuned. More to come about these great American people with Terriers. Oh, last but not least. Yeah, I got a little bit of that blood. This is starting from scratch. Stay tuned.